What's going on guys? Joshma32 here, coming at you with some Brawlhalla gameplay. Today we're going over some, uh, some recordings that I did of some of the daily missions that I had to do. This di particular mission was to go and play as Z uh, Zol, I think his name is? Yeah, I probably pronounced that wrong, but uh, I'm not too shabby with cannon, and I'm not that bad with the uh, with uh, axe either. So I don't do too bad. Right now we're playing against a uh, Wu Shang, and he's just getting absolutely smacked with my axe. So I decided to give him a little bit of a chance and uh, throw the cannon at him and uh, see what he does with that. I wanted to kick in a little bit more practice with the cannon as well. Um, <laughs> I think doing daily missions is good for you, um, mostly because you get coins, but also because it gives you an idea of what these characters are capable of at your skill level. And uh, this is one of my first times, if not the absolute first time, that I've ever played Zol, and I'm, I'm doing pretty good with them. And that being mostly because I've had a pretty decent amount of practice with both cannon and axe from other characters. Uh, the mix between the two is actually an interesting mix. I don't know if I really like that because uh, I really view cannon and axe to be doing kind of this, the same role, filling the same role. Uh, cannon's a little bit faster than axe, but um, they're both a very hard-hitting weapon. And uh, that, that's what I enjoy about both of them, but I tend to prefer weapons that have that are good for damaging people and then also having a weapon that is good for finishing people off and uh that's that's kind of what i don't like about zol is like they're both they're both weapons that are good for finishing people off not necessarily i mean you can rack up a lot of damage too with with both of these weapons but only you know uh, that's not really what i go that's not my go-to let's say um but for this poor guy uh it's working just fine for me um Especially axe, man. The axe is so brutal when you when you know what you're doing with them, and if people aren't avoiding you properly, um, it's it's kind of a pretty read heavy weapon since it's so slow. So you got to know where they're going versus like where they're going to be, or versus where they're at right now currently. And I just like stuffed them just now with that ground pound. It was a pretty good one. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, continue our conversations about the different types of weapons and stuff that you're going to be seeing with our next character uh i had to play a surrey now all right guys we're get we're starting our game where we're playing as a surrey and uh this is a character that i'm actually kind of surprised i haven't bought yet um she seems like she's right up my alley but she's kind of have the exact opposite uh problem from what i was talking about earlier with uh having axe and cannon she has sword and katarns, and they're they're both kind of very. Uh, I would I would consider them weapons that are good for racking up damage, but not necessarily for like smacking the crap out of people on the way out. But uh, I do just fine with them. <laughs> I have quite a few, uh, quite a bit of practice with the uh, katarns, katars, and uh, I I'm decent with sword. I need to get. I probably need to get a lot more practice with sword to be very much so truthful and this guy is just absolutely making it 100% easy on me by just murdering himself he, he he's he's very he's not <laughs> how do I put this he doesn't seem like he very appreciates life <laughs> but uh anyway he did a nice little decent move there with the side light into side sig but uh I'm just gonna absolutely just destroy him right now dunk Thank you, come again, and uh, so that was a like awful quick match, extremely quick match, but now we're going to move on, uh, those were my two daily missions that I had to do for this weekend, but we're going to move on now to a, to a ranked match where I'm facing fate, and we're going to have a conversation about how to avoid fate. Three, Guys, I wanted two, to show you this episode in order to show you uh, just like what you can do to try to hopefully avoid uh, fate and her signatures. See, now fate has very fast signatures, it seems like, at least right now. They're kind of hard to punish, and they seem like they're very hard to uh, counter, uh, especially some of the orb sigs. Uh, and that's because they're they're kind of a utility sig, where they can they can be used for movement rather than uh, plain attacking. Like the, that star sig that you're seeing right now, her side signature with orb is actually very hard to, to punish because she's moving along with the sig and the other one that she just did now which is her down orb sig 
is also one of those signatures that are just very quick, uh, low recovery frames. Um, they seem like they seem like they're very hard to very hard to punish and uh, like really good attacks. So like it's a, something that you have to worry about, especially when your opponent is uh, if if they're using them a lot. So you, it's something that you need to make sure you're not you know they're kind of hard to avoid and like that's some part of what we're gonna have to figure out as players to figure out how to avoid them and also at the same time take advantage of them if they're being thrown out too much uh, but uh i think i did a pretty decent job in this uh matchup to try to do that but like it's, she's just throwing them out everywhere right now like and it just gets worse the more and more uh, we play and it's also like something where it's like I can't really I, I'm having a hard time it seems like to hit her she seems like she's having a hard time hitting me and uh, that's partly because I think like I'm trying so hard to avoid those signatures that it's like it's just not working out well for her and as a result because I'm prioritizing avoiding the signatures it's not working out well for me for hitting her either so but uh, in one I mean, if that's the case, the long run, it, it, if the long game is uh, working out for you, then it's it's possible that you should probably want to do that. Now, I'm not necessarily being passive, but I'm also trying to be careful. I'm trying to learn to punish right now the, these particular set of these particular set of moves. So, and I'm getting punished right now for being a little too aggressive in my edge guarding. It's another thing I need to practice, really, is the edge guarding. Um, that's something that I've learned in recently. That not recently, but something that I've learned very s through playing uh, is that yeah, some some of my edge guarding skills need definitely need, need some improvement. See, like I'm I'm just like at this point I'm expecting it because it's just coming out everywhere. It's all over the place. So uh, it's like probably one of this per this person who's playing her right now is probably one of her very first matches, and uh, like I don't fault her for trying the new sig signatures out. Uh, but it's just like it, it's getting to the point where like especially that side sig, it's more of it's it's a nice way to move around the map more so than it is to uh, like be an actual signature where that hits. You know, like. Uh, I, when I was playing Fate myself, I was throwing it out, and it, it did work for good punishes for, like, if somebody whiffs an attack because you backdashed or you were able to, uh, or you dashed away out of their attack, out of their attack. It has a good enough, sp it has decent spacing to be a good way to punish uh, somebody that's, that's whiffed an attack, especially a signature of their own, um, but it's not being implemented too well right now for the person that's playing against me um i actually in this matchup i actually preferred having sword i'm not very good with combos with sword but i do i can't say that um sword's good for poking for me because it's hard it it, it itself like with side air that is one of the major ones that i'm using right now side air it's not it's kind of hard to punish you know if, you, if i miss a side air then She's going to have to be set up pretty good to punish me, especially with the way she's playing. Uh, hitting me with a SIG after I've done a side air is going to be kind of hard. Like, that time she was set up pretty well. Um, but uh, it, it's it's relatively... It's a lot better than, say, some of my movesets that I've been using for Spear. Like, side, side light with, with Spears, which one of the one moves that I like using a lot um, is actually pretty easy to punish if you miss. So uh, the fact that she's trying to avoid my attacks so much and then throw a signature out after the fact um, means that Spear was probably not a very good matchup for me for that, and that's that's particularly why. Um, and at this point now, I'm trying. She's in kill percent, so I'm trying to throw out some signatures of my own to try to finish this off. And there you go. I was set up, ready to go, and then. Uh, tried finishing it off right there but that recovery man i'm not used to having to deal with that recovery I, up until fate came out i wasn't really dealing with many orb users not many good orb users either let's say uh, a lot of people seem to be floating toward fate more than they did with dusk i'll give them that um i don't know what it was i think it's because she has scythe and a lot of people are fans of scythe right now uh I, so it's like she's she's a very good character i don't blame anybody that wants to try to 
try to learn her really well. I think she's a good character. And then I think I get her with that weapon throw. And finally, she was still able to make it back after that weapon throw. That was the crazy part. And that's the end of the match, though. Uh, it was uh, still pretty good in the in light yellow. So I, I had a lot of my stock left. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I'm doing videos like this every week. So until next time, I'll catch you later.